Hi Stampin' Friends! Tonight we're going to use the Happy Hedgehog stamp set. Um, it is a line art stamp set that you color, so um, it may take a little bit of time to color in things, but um, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. It has a matching punch, and um, what you can do with it, the punch has, the punch punches out the whole little hedgehog that is on all fours, and then it also punches out an extra, like, puffed so that you can put on dimensionals his back and make it kind of puffy. So anyway, um, you can, this one confused me because I was like, oh, that's a big tree. But it's not a tree. They're little tiny guys. So it's like a, a small little plant rather than a tree. So it's, it's really large flowers on it. Um, this is one of the um, cute little scalloped contours dies or one of those and stitched, I guess, contours. And when you're making like a little scene, you can put some of these little guys on here. But for me, I don't like to have anything on the edges. So I wanted to show you a quick way to avoid that is just to put your post-its right on the stitch line. And then now you can always go ahead and do, cut this out in a color and then layer your um, white on top of it, but that involves a lot of extra cutting. So we will see how we like this. So I'm just gonna go all the way around it because I don't want to accidentally get a spot that maybe I thought, oh, well, I'm not gonna do anything there, but maybe I will accidentally. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Cover all four edges. I want to make sure I'm not too far up. I hope I'm not. We will see. That will just be a learning experience if I'm too far up. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I was thinking about adding is putting a little branch overhang up in the top right corner. So I'm going to use the Early Espresso for that. I'm just inking it up. And then I don't think I want the whole thing because that would be a lot of leafiness. So what I was imagining is just to kind of mask off the top part of the branch so that it just seems like it's sort of overhanging our scene. Okay, so that was that plan. Then the next thing I wanted to do was add a butterfly. I might better wait. It's just a little dangerous. I wanted to add this little guy down here in the corner because he's going this direction. Now this is not the one that you can punch out with um, the punch. There we go. And then I'm gonna do, oh and I, no I did get his whole body. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of toadstools. I'm going to do one here, and maybe just one. But point being, I'm going to punch out one of the hedgehogs and put him on this side, so I kind of want um, plenty going on on this side. Okay, now I should have masked that, I guess, because it's a little close, but it's not really overflowing. So. All right, so then I'm gonna put this guy up in the corner. Now this would also have been super cute if I had chosen to put the little bird down here on the side or something as well. Or if I used a larger one and um, put even more things on there. I'm gonna color these guys, whoops. I'm gonna color these guys light poppy parade. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that I don't color any of the circles. So I'm coloring around them first. All 
All right, so I did that. I'm gonna add some granny apple green around the bottoms of these plants. Then I think I'll go ahead and do my leaves the same. And this isn't smearing because I used water-based ink to stamp and I'm coloring with our alcohol-based blends. I know it can be a little dull to watch, but okay. So now I'm just using the dark so saffron to color my flowers. I might could have used a more fun color scheme on this. And actually, that is too brown. I'm gonna get the daffodil. So I'm just coloring this. Yeah, I'm gonna like this in the darker color. And I may not even need to add it to the whole thing just to kind of brighten up certain spots. There we go. All right. Now I need to add some orangey kind of pink to the, let's see, I think I want the dark petal pink up underneath our mushroom. Just to kind of give it some contrast. Now this would be something you could put speckles on this if you wanted to, and that would just kind of make it look a little more um, authentic, I guess you'd say. And then if you guys hurry, tell me what color you think I should color the um, butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, brown, and then I'm going to get on my hedgehog and stamp a different hedgehog as well. So all I'm doing here is just tracing the branches. I just want to go off the edge there. I'm using the dark pumpkin pie and I'm just going to leave the whole edge just the black and white stripe and I'm just going to leave the body white okay maybe not super realistic but anyway okay so now I just need to color this guy which I should have done it at the same time that would have been easier, but I didn't. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit faster than I did the last time. These little quills, like a porcupine. I guess they're called quills on hedgehogs. I really don't know. I would just assume. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to punch him out. Oh, I'm going to cut this off because I was imagining on the next one that I may want to cut out um, a bunch of these um, for my next plan, my next thing that I do. Okay. All right, then I'm just lining this up. Okay. So then my plan here is to just kind of put him, I hate to hide my, hide my little mu mushrooms, but oh, I was going to do some, some sky. Hold on. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, leaving that on there, grabbing my, now at some point here, I have to kind of see which one of these is my aqua and which one is my blue blue. So I want to use 
the aqua because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, mask off everybody else. I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit. And so what I want to do is make sure that I don't get don't get it too dark. I'm just kind of go like this. Then the bottom I would rather add some um, brown or green. So I'm just kind of smearing this here. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to grab one of these that's for brown. I'm going to use, I think, crumb cake. Okay, so now that I'm finished with that, just gonna get some of this guy, our soft sea foam, and then grab the green. And I don't want to get too much. I just want to put it kind of right over here. But I am gonna go straight on because I'm not sure that we'll ever be able to see this soft sea foam otherwise. use pear pizzazz because it is so brown as well. I think I'll try some of this. We'll see. I may ruin it. Starting over here on the side with my granny apple green. There. Probably need to call that good. And then I'm just going to pull this back, pull this back, that back, pull that back. And there you can see I've got a nice little white edging on this, um, and it makes a cute little scene pretty easily. Now all I have left to do is put my little guy here up on dimensionals. And, you know, I can put him down here if I want to. He doesn't have to be up in the scene unless I want him to be. And then somewhere here, I believe I have some. Oh, yeah, here we go. So my piece of, this is um, Poppy Parade. And then here is my crumb cake. I'm just going to try to put that here. And then maybe use my Poppy Parade. This has been embossed. Um, and then this is the Poppy Parade. I probably should have cut it after I embossed it because you can see it's a little bit small because, yeah, this is just a regular five and a half card. So I've gotten, I've shrunk it down by using the embossing folder. But I think it looks kind of cute to have him off this, the picture a little bit, but you certainly wouldn't have to. You could just pop him right on there. And um, I could have done these a little bit higher up. So just kind of six of one on that. Then our sentiments with this one are pretty cute. Um, friendship, let's see, no. Finding a friend is the best discovery of all, and it's so nice of you to be so nice. Thinking about one of these, I'm going to see if one will fit somewhere here. I've got my, hmm, where did I put that? Oh, it's in the floor, so I can get to it easily. All right. See if this fits in here. I think it does, but I stamped it too far in. So then maybe we would put here, it's so nice of you to be so nice. So I would probably, you mean the ice arena? Yeah, no kidding. That, that has been crazy. Um, so I'll probably put either a little ribbon on here or um, either in white or maybe I'll color it with the Poppy Parade. But anyway, I think this makes an adorable little scene. And you can see how easy that was and quick for me to get it done. Um, I may not have gotten it exactly, you know, like artisan level straight and stuff on the edges, but most people are not going to notice. 
Okay, so I have one more for you if you can um, stand it, <laughs> if it's not too much. Um, do you remember these cards? They're the bridges. So what you do when you go to put it in the envelope is like this. It is, hold on, let me move all my hedgehog stuff. Okay, when you put it in the envelope, you lay it like this, and then it's only five and a half inches wide. So this is the, and if you leave them like this, then you're gonna end up with it being um, five and a half this way as well, but you can't put it in an envelope like that, so you have to lay it like that. Does that make sense? I hope I, yeah. Anyway, we've done one of these before at Christmas time fairly recently. So then I was thinking you could put this as your, oh, and I've got that a little bit too, no, I don't, okay. It has to be about this wide. So I'll eventually be attaching this to this. And then I wanted to use, again, my, no, I didn't, I lied. I wanted to use Garden Green to put some, now, this is going to take a while. Um, I used, let's see here, I did one so I could show you, then I don't know where I put it. That's the problem you get into. Okay, I'll just do it like this. But this is gonna take a while, but just stamping a whole bunch of this grass around where you're gonna put your hedgehogs can make it look a little bit more textured. Like that. Okay, so then on some of these that I've already stamped, like maybe this guy, you could just punch him out. I stamped him on the, um, gosh, I can't even speak, crumb cake. I guess when they change the name, that's going to make me pause for always. It's like, no, it's, it's crumb cake. It's not craft. So, too funny. Okay. So, there we go on this one. Give it a little... If I can. Oh, I'm being picky. Just cut it. I can do another one later if I don't like it. Silly me. Okay, so there we have our little hedgehog. And then we can also put him in the top, which is going to be super sad because it um, will only punch out. I said that. He punches out the other little guy. I'm such a dummy. Does he not have his face out? Is that the deal? No, he does. That doesn't make sense. Who knows what this punches out? That is funny. Maybe I'll just punch it and see what I get. Oh, it's the back side. Okay. That should work. I guess I just need to trim this off right here. I must not be able to get it all the way in there because of the excess paper. Okay. There we go. Yeah, and so it's easy once you figure out that you just need to line up his ear. Sorry about that. Line up his little ear and then you're all set. Maybe a little higher. Okay. So, now you've got this piece that you can pop up that goes around the top of him. So let's pop it up, maybe I can make it um, show a little better. Put, them, put the small one right up here in the top. Another small one right there together. Maybe just one more back here. And I'll call that good. Ooh, sticky, sticky. Okay. Okay. 
and then you just let me see get it up there where you can see then you just line it up on the top of here and you can see that it has made a fluffy little layer on top of there so fairly cute so then I guess I should have done the other side with my green I'll go ahead and do that to make a space for him okay that's cutesy then I can just put him in this grass here and then what I was thinking on this was that I'm going to cut out all of my little birds and things and um, just put them kind of around on here. But I also wanted to stamp, let me find it, this on the side pieces in brown just to kind of give it something something for you to look at on these side pieces so let's see here I'm gonna use the soft suede and I'm gonna put some dimensionals under it because I've been having some trouble lately on my table with the um, clear stamps they have not been as easy to use as I would like so I think maybe my table's getting hard. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I'm just going to put this under here. Okay. And, oops, so daisy. I'm being wild and silly. Okay, so now I'm just going to stamp over here. I guess I should put one of these guys up here so it doesn't get messy. Okay put it kind of toward the bottom. Actually, I'm not going to put it toward the bottom because I'm going to have my green piece across there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And of course, you could use um, your designer series paper. The rainbow one would look super cute with this because you know it's kind of cutesy so to me cutesy things look good together now this has kind of a wide arm on it I hope I can get get it in there yeah not so much I'm gonna put another piece on the other side like that I think because I don't really want it going to the inside but maybe I should have we'll see so there we go. All right, so I've got these on here and then I'm just gonna use my piece of soft seafoam to connect them together. And then I'm gonna put my bird up in my branches, that kind of thing. And I won't make you guys sit here and watch me cut out each one of the little individual birds and things because that could get kind of dull. Um, but I do think that this stamp set is great with a variety of colors. You wouldn't have to use, like how I did, the subdued colors. You could use really, really bright brights, and that would be super sweet as well. So lots of choices and lots of possibilities. So if you're interested in coloring, you can go back and watch me color this. Or you can go to YouTube where it'll be sped up so it won't take quite as long to do. And I'll get this one ready for you. And I think this will be a lot of fun once I finish it. I just didn't want you to sit here and have to watch me color and cut all the things. But I think this will be sweet. Now, and I'll just go ahead and color these with um, different colors. And I think it will um, still look nice because to me, Pool Party is a fairly light color. Anyway, I appreciate you all watching and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.